Hello, I'm Mylon Huang and welcome to Helpful Matters. Joining me in the studio today is Michael Tomlin. Michael, you were diagnosed with multiple um, sclerosis five years ago. Yes. Right. Tell me, how did it feel when the doctor first told you that? It felt actually like a relief. I've been having problems for two years prior and saw multiple doctors, spent a lot of money on co-pays and I was really getting frustrated because I thought to myself I was crazy. And once the doctor finally diagnosed my multiple sclerosis, there's a sense of relief. It's like, okay, I have something that's manageable and it was really the, a good, I mean, it was, it was happy and sad at the same time, you could say. Yeah. <laughs> what were the main symptoms during those two years while you were going to the doctors to see? Initially, I started with um, uveitis, which is eye inflammation. So my eye would actually just jump for no reason at all. And it was really, really annoying. And I got steroid eye drops for that. And then during the same time, my entire right side of my body went numb. So basically from this side, it's partially numb, not completely, but I mean, it's like a, a loss of sensation. And I got tests to show, yes, your, your nerves are not reacting as fast to your left side, but compared to everybody else, you're still normal. So how has this disease affected your lifestyle? At first, not so much. I didn't really, I guess it took a couple years to sink in, it wasn't really until I had a stroke in 2010. And after the stroke, that's where I really stepped up my exercise, eating better. And I was starting to go to the gym with my wife previously, but I didn't really go constantly. I was going one or two days a week just to do the bare minimum. And after a stroke, the following year, I purchased a, a bicycle and I started road riding. And that's where I really, I think I really stepped up. Do you think the stroke was something uh, was something that really pushed you to uh, increase your exercise regimen? Yes. And I know I read that since then you've lost 50 pounds. Yes. I was, and uh, go ahead. Sorry. I was 250 pounds in 2007, 2008, and now I'm 205. <laughs> wow, that's that's big. But I also read an article that you said that you feel better, you think clearer. How, that, that all just from exercise and losing that weight. With the exercising and the weight loss, I think clearer. I'm also on disease modifying therapy for the multiple sclerosis. Um, there's an injection I give myself three days a week. Uh, along with that, and eating better and just exercising. When I when I don't exercise for more than two, like if I go for two days without exercising, I feel fatigued. And I get to the gym and I feel much better afterwards. Oh, well, that's good. So the exercise really helped. Mm -hmm. During this time, I know it must be extremely difficult for your family because this might be something like different. They might not, you might be going through some things they're not used to. It might not be the same Michael that they're used to. How is your family dealing with that? At first, they didn't understand because nobody really... Like, what is MS? Yeah. When they said MS, they're like, oh, I'm sorry. And, you know, my doctor, my neurologist in Frederick, she explains it that, you know, it's not a life-ending disease. It, you know, really just, I have, to I have to take myself, I have to take time to do stuff, you know, think clearer. And, um, <laughs> it's, it's something that can be managed. It's something that can be managed. And so ever since that happened, do you, like, I'm sure, like, maybe you've had goals in your life before. Has that changed how you see life now? Yes. And actually, this past year, this past summer, I actually enrolled in college at Hagerstown Community College. Mm -hmm. And I'm in my, th my third semester now. And that was really something that, with MS, uh, cognitive abilities is one of the big hits too. You're thinking short-term memory. And a lot of people pay to train your brain. So going to school is helping me get better education, of course, and also helping me, I think, in the long run. Mm -hmm. I know you tell me their schedule is crazy. You work every day, all day, and you still make time to go to school. Yes. But it's important. And exercise. Yes. And that all helps you. Um, friends. How do your friends take this thing? Uh, At first, they were the same reaction as my family. They were saying, oh, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> and now, I think I think the MS has made me better, and I think they see that. It's actually made me push myself to do bigger things and better things to better myself. That you probably wouldn't have ever done before. No. I, I was partying and not really paying attention to my health, and now I'm the direct opposite. <laughs> And okay, now you said that you mentioned before you bike now. You exercise and part of it, you gotta bike and you go biking now. And you have um, you Mike Bikes um, for MS, right? That's yes. your Facebook page. Tell me about that. The Mike Bikes for MS page I started um, after my first century. I completed in 2010. Um, so I cycled 100 miles in one day. 
and it was a really, really big achievement. I had been biking two years before that, but on an old mountain bike with road tires put onto it. And a 18 pound road bike is much harder to bike than any 50 miles, let alone with a 10 pound road bike. Yeah. <laughs> and once I started that page, it's attracted my history because I looked at the floor picture and after picture from 2009 to 2012 or 2011, just the difference in weight and just my, my appearance. And I actually did a comparison on the actual page to show before and after. <laughs> and 100 miles, like every day, or just like how often do you do it? Um, I do little bike rides, 20 miles here, 25 miles there. A couple of Saturdays, or a couple of Sundays ago, I did 25 miles, mm -hmm. and that was, yeah, it was okay. And the century I work up to. Uh, and then you had a fundraiser for the MS user. Tell me more about that. Uh, well, every year for the Chesapeake Challenge, uh, the one century I do. The main one I've done for the last four or five years is you have to, you have to raise money to participate. Um, each rider is obligated to raise $300 to ride. So with that, I make my page and ask for donations from everybody. I put it on my Facebook page. The Mike Bikes for MS page helps do that a lot. Um, it gets more out there. I, I don't like begging for money. Yeah, and but it's, really it's for hard. a great cause. It's, it's for a great cause, but after three or four years doing it, I'm sure some people are just like, okay, this guy again. <laughs> yeah. You know, Michael, you're truly an inspiration. Um, sum up for me in one sentence how this experience has changed you. This sum up and like how it can motivate others who are going through something like this. Life changing. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely life changing. And you're keeping you're keeping you're keeping on going and that's really great and something strong for people to see. And um, let's just say let's repeat this again because uh, I actually got the idea from Janet Heim's article and she said speak better balance better, think clearer, and all of that just include. So would you like recommend including more exercise in everyone's life because it'll just help them feel better? Well, for anybody, exercise is definitely the key. Um, I know I've never been the healthiest person based on, you know, drinking all the time, partying. But, I mean, we change. And exercise helps. And for multiple purposes, you know, the disease monitoring therapy I take, the injections, plus the exercise, plus the eating right. Plus, trying to get at least seven or eight hours of sleep yeah. per night. That's a lot. Which is hard, especially in my schedule. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? It's never too late. Yeah, it's never right? too late, um, and I'm walking proof of it. All right, at great. 35 years old, mm -hmm. and that's me. All right, thank you for that, Michael, and uh, thank you for joining us uh, in this week's Helpful Matters.